Why are there no feminists in Japan? Because they hunt whales there. <laughs> I, I, I laughed at my own joke. That's yikes. But I was in a girl's chat, okay? And this message, I had to write it down because it was so fucking cringe. So these two are arguing about who's more of a virgin than the other guy. <laughs> And they're all like fighting against each other and I'm like, what the fuck am I reading, man? So them two are like talking about being a virgin and this guy went, Your desperate attempts at attention are so obvious. If you were reading at fifth grade level, you would have seen above in the chat that I'm a 55 and married. <laughs> 30 years of good sex, dude. Way out of your league. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and then the guy replied to him, which I haven't put in the past, he put, yeah, dude, if you had such a hot wife, you would be smashing her right now and not watching some girl showing cleavage on Twitch, you fucking loser. And then he put weird champ. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, dude, these guys are going off at each other. What's the most you've annoyed someone? Um, Actually, there was a time when I worked at the cinema and there was a woman who used to work there who was, and I'm not joking this, she was about five foot five, 400, 300 to 400 pounds. She was a big gal, okay? But she would like be, she was super reserved most of the time. Now she is at the register, like working, right? She's working at the register. She's a unit, that's all I'm gonna say. So she's working at this register and I'm just sort of, um, I'm, at the, I'm ripping tickets, right? So there's like a stand next to the register where you rip tickets to let people through, okay? Now, she's standing there, and this guy comes past, and he's got McDonald's in his hand. And apparently, she goes, oh, don't let him in. And I, he, now he said to me, oh, I'm running late. Is it all right if I take this in? And it was just a burger and chips. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Don't worry about it, mate. I'm being nice. And she goes, no, don't let him in. And I went, go on, mate. You're a, it's fine. Go in. And she went, no, I said no. Like, <laughs> she's getting, like, she's fuming. Like, she's getting really mad. And I'm like, you're not my boss, you're another employee. And then she went round the back, like super, like she stormed off round the back. And all I could hear, like no joke, this is all I hear, right? When, oh, oh. <laughs> she, so she storms off round the back where there's like an ice cooler where like all you do is put ice in like, it's just like a place where you get ice from, right? And it was like metal, okay? She went round the back where it is, like where all the ice is. <laughs> and all I hear is, fucking cunt. <laughs> and, all I can see is the... I can't see her, right? But I can see the metal, like, ice box that's around there. And it just dents. There's, like, a massive dent in the fucking ice thing where she's punched it. And then one of the managers, like, grabs her and then takes her around to the office. And he's like, you need to calm down. And everyone's, like, coming over to me and they're like, oh, she's fuming at you. She hates you for doing that. And I'm like, okay, I'm a wind-up merchant, right? So I'm sat there and I'm thinking, Jesus, calm down. It's like McDonald's. Like, why do you care so much your job's worth, right? So I'm the kind of guy that when I'm winding someone up, I like winding them up even more. So she came round. <laughs> she came out after going in the office and being, like, pissed off at me over nothing. She went back on the register and she's like, calm down. And she kind of looked at me and I went, are you just mad that you can't eat McDonald's right now? And she... <laughs> Dude, she fucking... I've never seen someone get so mad. Like, she literally grabbed, like, all the pennies that she, like, had next to her till and just launched them at me. <laughs> she, like, launched them at me and started, like, walking towards me to come, like, punch me. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm, no joke, I'm not scared, right? I'm just like, yikes. I'm like, this woman, if she comes near me, I'm just gonna hold her down. Right? But I didn't. The manager stopped her in time and then he, like... Uh, let her off for the day. I didn't even get in trouble for that at all. Okay, so I went to Blackpool to go to one of these events for COD. And I went there with my friend, okay? He was called Cameron. And I, d I slept around his house the night before the event. And I went to the event with him. And we were in this room at night. <laughs> Fuck off, chat. <laughs> we were in this room. And everyone's there, like, chilling out, hanging out, drinking a few beers. And then my friend goes, hey guys, do you guys want to get a bit loose? And I'm like, oh fuck, he's got weed or something, right? So he goes to his bag and he whips out canisters. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? And he's like, I've got laughing gas. And everyone's like, I'm not joking. I thought they were all going to laugh at that. But they, they all started pogging. 
it, like in real life they're all like wow w- laughing gas and then they all started doing it and i was like they were like hey ash you do it and i'm like no like what the fuck are you retarded so they're all like getting high off this laughing gas and all laughing at absolutely nothing and then this guy comes out and he goes he goes guys i've got cocaine and i'm like oh for fuck's sake here we go and i am i'm a straight edge guy i've never had drugs I've never done any of that stuff, right? So he just whips out a bag of cocaine, and I'm like, everyone else is there. He's like, poggers, and they're all laughing. They're like, ha-ha, we're going to get high of cocaine. And I'm like, okay. So for me, I'm just standing there, and I... Now, this just sounds really beta, and you're all going to flame me. And this is why you're going to say I'm not cool. But everyone started doing it, and I left. <laughs> I, I went, all right, guys, I'm leaving. And they were like, what? And I just, I went out of the room and just like, dude, I went to bed. Uh, uh, they were like, Ash, you're such a fucking, they were like, you're such a nerd. Why are you leaving? And I was like, shut the fuck up, you losers. You're doing laughing gas and doing cocaine. I'm leaving. So I went upstairs and there was a kid on my, um, in my room. Okay, that sounds so <laughs> So there was a kid in my room and he was, um, he was... I can't remember how old he was. So at the time, I'm 17, and he's like 15. And he's like in bed because his mummy told him to. That's what I said. I was like, why are you up here anyway? Like, aren't you going to go down with them? Like, they all want you. And he went, he went, my mummy told me to go to bed. (laughs) And I'm sat there like, fucking hell, I'm a loser. And then I called my (laughs) mum. So... Oh, this makes me sound like a loser. I called my mum and I was like, Mum, I came here with my friend and he's like just doing drugs in a room and I don't want to be there because it's such a shit time. I was like, this event's shit. I don't want to be here. His parents drove us there, so I have to wait for his parents. And I'm like, Mum, can you come pick me up? And then my dad came out at like three in the morning and come pick me up and I went home. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. And then my friend was like, where are you? Where are you? And I was like, I'm a home. You're a fucking loser. I'm not doing drugs. So I went home. I didn't snitch on him. I was just, I never hung out. I never hung out with him again after that as well. I was like, this guy's an actual fucking idiot. Have you ever been talking to someone and yep. they keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and you can't get them to stop talking? In this video, I want to talk about some really easy ways to get someone to stop talking. The only thing I didn't like about that video is a woman was telling me when to shut up. And that's ironic. I had a dream that I was tied up on my bed, fully naked and hard as hell. I, I And the erection would not go away. It's like someone drugged me with like 20 Viagra. So I'm laid on my bed, naked, literally rock hard, man. It looked like a... Okay, anyway. And there was this girl who would like walk past and lick it. Just the tip every like 20 minutes and this was my dream and she would just do it the same thing again and again yeah hey mom yep i'm glad you could hear that am i the only one that gets like super depressed after a run dies it's kind of like someone my family died but worse your dog's smarter than you i've seen my dog eat my cat sick and then throw up after doing that and then eating that right my dog is not smart Okay, man. You are one fucking cheeky coon, mate. I swear I am going to wreck you. I swear on me, mum, and I know you are scared little bitch thinking uh, some big bastard with muscles bodybuilding website is one of your favorite places to look at men, you little fucking gay boy. <laughs> hey, thanks for the three pounds, Alinity. Appreciate it. The only thing that doesn't break on your streams is records. That's so not fucking true. You're so annoying! I've had more world records in my streaming career than you have had hugs from your mother, buddy. That is not fucking true. And you're about to see now I'm back streaming and more consistency. I want to show you the fucking wrath, man. Okay? Shut your fucking mouth, buddy. These kind of donations fuel me, man. They give me the motivation. And when I explode, dude, when I wank thinking of you after I get a world record, when I wank after I get a world record, I will be thinking of you, dakes. You're, I'm going to think of your message when I'm busting, man. I'm going to shoot everywhere and think, Yeah! Deeks said I couldn't break a record. Well, guess what, Deeks? I just did. Fuck you. Hey, Mom. <sighs> Do you ever go for, like, a deep burp and then you kind of throw up a little bit in your mouth? All right, chat. i got my little secret up my sleeve to grab. 
my little juicy blessing from <laughs> I hate this fucking dog shit game dude my mum just said too loud Ashley not fair on Knox door and you say we shall <laughs> okay Mims is probably one of the best speed. I hate saying this now when he's here, but he is, he is actually probably the best Speed Souls runner when he dedicates himself to something. It's actually true. <laughs> I forgot that was my VV sound. <laughs> I actually forgot that. Oh, shit, that's funny.